morning. Right now, Fox 17 has a crew on the scene of a house fire. This is in North Nashville. As you can see there, uh, the fire now out this morning. Photojournalist James Egbert has been out there, though, all morning. And when he arrived, this house was fully engulfed. James, what can you tell us? Good morning, Kelly. As you can see, when I came onto the scene, the house was fully involved in flames. Firefighters worked really hard to get get the fire out as quick as they possibly could. They kept running into one obstacle or another along the way with electricity still running into the home and arcing off inside on uh, electrical items that were inside. Uh, coming back out to the scene, you can see now that the house, uh, the fire is totally out. Crews have been uh, overhauling for quite a while. We're waiting for investigators to get on scene to determine what the cause of the fire was. This is always a sad situation when you see something like this on a Christmas morning. Uh, at this point, nobody was home, uh, nobody was injured, and it's good to hear all that at this point. One family member did come and move this red car back away from the house so that they didn't lose that. Uh, right now, we're waiting to find out uh, who the homeowners are and what the cause of the fire is. I'm Fox 17 News photojournalist James Edgar. Greg, we've been following breaking news throughout the morning. Fox 17 has a crew at the scene of what was a house fire in North Nashville. This happened on 24th Avenue North in Osage. We have photojournalist James Egbert out there. James, uh, I'm told you have some new information for us. Yes, I, I, I started talking with the fire chief and a few other people on scene, and there was a report of a vehicle that had been here when the first crews arrived that sped away from the scene at a very high uh, rate of speed. Police are uh, checking into that right now. Another vehicle that was here, I was told uh, originally was one of the family members that lived here, but when the uh, young man came back to uh, retrieve the vehicle and, and leave, they all of a sudden didn't know any, anything about the house or what caused the fire. Uh, investigators are gonna be on scene shortly to start a, try to determine whether this house was a result of an arson fire. So uh, at this point, uh, as to what caused the fire, that's still a mystery, but uh, the result of the fire, as you can see, is a totally uh, devastated home. And we want to let everyone know there was no one in the house at the time of the fire, so uh, no injuries to be reported. Uh, as James gathers more information out there, we'll bring it to you uh, with updates here on Fox 17. We are continuing to follow this breaking news this morning. We have been live at the scene of this house fire all morning, and uh, we do know that no one was home and everybody uh, is safe. But photojournalist James Egbert has some new information that we've been talking about here in the last couple of minutes about uh, what's going on at the scene of this uh, fire. James. Yes, I've talked to a couple neighbors that were passing by taking a look at the scene, and they said that actually the uh, people that occupied this home were in the process of moving out. When uh, fire crews got to the scene, they said a vehicle of uh, an unknown type uh, sped away from the scene at a high rate of speed. Later on, two other people came back and retrieved the red car that was in front of the house. One neighbor says that that's one of the occupants that did live in the house at the time. Nobody was home at the time of the fire, and when, the, when I got here, the home was fully involved from front to back. And as you can see on the, the screen now, that the uh, house is a total loss at this point, un unlivable. But no one was hurt, no injuries, uh, and nothing else to report. Investigators are going to be coming down here later to determine whether this house was a, a, a victim of uh, arson or, uh, or if it was another type of uh, fire. I'm photojournalist James Egbert, Fox 17 News.